wicked, wicked. Joe Gunn is massive. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to Gummy's Workshop on this lovely morning. Uh, coming to work this morning. Uh, first Tuesday after the bank holiday. Recognise the place. Bloody buildings have moved about. <laughs> Don't ask. Very confusing. I'm only just re-getting my bearings. Uh, so what have we got for you this morning? It's a Tuesday, but it feels like a Monday. Um, I don't know what to say now. What should I do? <laughs> I'll tell you what we got. I've got a really, really lovely early Lux. This is uh, serial number 61. Now, all the test pieces had serial numbers. Uh, you can pretty much guess there was 10 to 20 test pieces. Um, so this uh, actually makes this even rarer. So this would have been like the 40th or 41st retail gun, if you like. Um, this was given to me at the uh, Millennium in the south of France, and um, she was very, very ill. Uh, this gun, yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> this gun was super glued together. The eye plates were super glued in. The regulator was super glued in. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if the whole fire chamber had been super glued in because it was quite a bugger to get released. But um, this is now completely rebuilt and uh, I've just got this switched on now with in the eyes off most. But I haven't gassed it up because there's something that uh, I just want to go through uh, with you because um, it seems to be a problem uh, a lot of people are having uh, and that's damaging the o-ring on the little on off here. Now what I want to show you here is that to use this on off that's now abutted against the pin, but the gun's not on, right? Uh, to use this on off, you only have to turn it quarter of a turn, half a turn, okay? Now that I'm going to demonstrate for you now. So at the moment, the gun is off. So that's about three quarters of a turn. And now we're going to switch it off. We're going to do exactly the same again. So that was about one turn there. So, um... What I'm trying to get over here is that you don't have to screw this all the way out as uh, for some reason a lot of you guys seem to be doing. Now um, this is obviously a shaft and on this shaft there is a thread. Okay. Now on the end of this shaft in a non-threaded area there is an o-ring. If you unscrew this too far you're forcing that o-ring to travel over the threads inside this ASA. And um, threads, nasty sharp things, o-rings, soft and rubbery. Uh, we really don't want the O-ring travelling over Fred. So, I don't know why you chaps are turning this 20 times. Uh, you only need to turn it quarter of a turn. So, here I am, I'm abutted against the pin at the moment. Mm, that was probably three quarters of a turn. Half a turn there. Another half. That's actually about one and a half turns on this bottle. Now remember the pin on your bottle is also adjustable. You can dial that pin in and out. Don't ask me how, because I don't know what bottle you've got. Oh, 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 sorry, I can't get through. The old psychic network must be engaged. <laughs> Someone did ask me how they adjust the pin on their bottle. I'm like, girlfriend, I don't know what bottle you've got. <laughs> um, we are gun techs, right? Uh, we are not allowed to get involved with the regulator on your bottle. Don't ask us because, you know, often when we tell you that, it, uh, it's normally it's kind of, uh, some people find it insulting. <laughs> so once again, three quarters of a turn, that one. Gun on. Gun off. So in general rule, this one is about one whole turn. You don't need to turn this 20 times okay you turn this 20 times the whole thing's going to come out i don't know why you do it now i've even got dealers doing this come on boys yeah <laughs> you should know a little bit about paintball guns if you're selling them but uh there we go so this is going back to our good uh friend uh julian he's a lovely fellow um i mean he's french but we'll let him off for that <laughs> and uh, you definitely definitely i don't know owe me some good French cuisine because uh, we went to the south of France expecting to have really good food and you know oh and uh, it was it's full of pizza shops what are you lot doing we're told all the time 
how great the food is in France. We get there, every other shop is a pizza restaurant. Sort it out. Anyway, so I'm uh, going to sign off now. We're going to show you some more stuff later on. Until then, peace.